What's up guys, Charles Damiano back from the Bruce Lee collection for part two of our Kung Fu Monthly Bruce Lee poster series. What I decided to do is last week, I hope you caught the episode, we featured the Kung Fu Monthly magazines which came out in the early 70s. I believe it was 1976 that started it all where we as kids used to run to the newsstand to pick up our latest Kung Fu Monthly poster magazine to see the incredible poster inside. And what we decided to do is show you guys not only the covers of these beautiful issues, and in this episode I'm gonna be featuring uh, issue number 11, through 20, another 10 issues, and we're gonna open them up and also expose the beautiful Bruce Lee posters that are inside. So with no further ado, let's get right into the episode and take a look at these beautiful issues. In issue number 11, as you can see, they started off uh, number 11 with a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from Cato and the Green Hornet. And let me put the rest down and we'll open up this first issue. So here we go. Issue number 11 came out in 1976 from Kung Fu Monthly. Again, as we said, there's 32 issues in the entire set. Let me know if you guys have this entire set. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection to have as part of your uh, Bruce Lee collection. As you open it up, you have a beautiful scene here with Bruce from Enter the Dragon. But again, as we said, the main thing for these issues were the posters that were inside. So let's open this baby up and take a look what this beautiful poster is all about. Whoa, and they used the poster that was uh, on the cover, which is Bruce Lee standing near the Black Beauty in his entire Kato outfit, sporting the cap and the mask. And for those of you, I know Kato started it out for me. I remember seeing him. I was seven years old back in 1966. I was a big fan of Batman at the time, but when the Green Hornet came, I quickly switched over to Green Hornet and I would watch every episode. And I continued to watch the Batman episodes as well. I enjoy those and I specifically love the crossover episode where they fought uh, uh, Batman and Robin. Let me know if you guys seen that crossover episode or if you have the DVD in your collection. What a great episode that was. Uh, so this is issue number 11. Let's see what number 12 has in store for us. Here we go, issue number 12, Kung Fu Monthly. Let's see what the poster looks like in this. We have a scene here of Bruce Lee from Fists of Fury, also known as the Big Boss Overseas. And as you open it up to the poster inside, they graced us with a beautiful poster of Bruce Lee from the Game of Death in his iconic yellow tracksuit holding the yellow nunchucks. What a movie this was. I wasn't crazy about The Game of Death. I thought it was one of the worst Bruce Lee movies, but I did love A Warrior's Journey. So if you haven't seen that, the John Little documentary where he showed the 44 or 45 minutes of Bruce Lee in the three battle scenes with Jabbar, uh, the Hapkido guy, as well as Dan and Santos. You gotta pick that up and uh, see that. I do have a link to Warrior's Journey below in the description. So if you haven't ordered that DVD, please do so by clicking the link below and you can see this beautiful uh, masterpiece in its entirety. Let's see what. see what this next poster has in store for us. Here it is, Kung Fu Monthly number 13. Again, another shot of Bruce Lee uh, showing a portrait of him on the cover. And as you open it up, let's see what the beautiful poster is inside. We have a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee in the mirror room in Enter the Dragon. And again, let me know if you put these up on your wall as a kid back in the early 70s or if you framed them. A lot of people just thumbtack them. Uh, this one has no thumbtack holes, so whoever owned this uh, probably either just kept it as is. I just took these out of the plastic bags that we're in so I can show them to you guys, but uh, I like to keep all my magazines in plastic bags which avoid uh, discoloring 
and uh, them turning yellow and also preserves uh, the beauty of the magazine. So I hope you guys keep yours in plastic bags as well. Uh, let me know if you do, th do that and how you store your, your magazines. I'd love to know. Let's go on and move to the next issue here. And here is issue number 14. Beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from the Chinese Connection overseas. It came out uh, and was known as Fist of Fury. Great, great movie on Bruce Lee. To some, it's their favorite movie. Mine was Enter the Dragon with Chinese Connection, a close second. Let me know what your favorite Bruce Lee movie was. I'd love to hear about that in the comments below, so please chime in. And let's see what this beautiful movie poster looks like. So as you open up the Kung Fu Monthly magazine, here, the editors of Kung Fu Monthly graced us with a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from The Big Boss, known here in the United States as Fists of Fury. Beautiful shot of Bruce sporting the white t-shirt with the three buttons. I know I picked a couple of those up in Chinatown back in the day and wear it all the time because uh, we used to try to find uh, a lot of articles of clothing that Bruce wore from Kung Fu shoes to these t-shirts to sometimes the Kung Fu pants back in the 70s because everyone was Kung Fu fighting as we know. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Issue number 15. Beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon sporting the finger gloves. And as we open this up, let's see the beautiful poster inside. Wow, one of my favorite scenes. Here goes a poster of Bruce Lee and Bob Wall. One of my favorite fight scenes. It was actually the longest one-on-one -on -one fight scene in Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee taking on Bob Wall. And look at this beautiful poster that the editors of Kung Fu Monthly graced us with. Oh, don't hit back. Great, great poster. Let's move on to the next issue and see what number 16 has in store for us. Here we go, issue number 16. Let me know again if you have the entire set. If you don't, reach out to me at cdbrlee -E at aol.com. I have a lot of doubles and triples of these. If you wanna complete your set and looking for a specific poster, reach out to me and email me and we can talk about either a trade and I'll tell you what the uh, amount is to pick up these beautiful issues. So here we go, another scene from Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon. Let's open this up and in this issue, Let's see the poster that they put together. Here we got a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee sporting a nice brown tank top. Uh, and as you know, Bruce Lee sweat a lot. You could see the sweat stains underneath the tank top. And one of the reasons why, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but Bruce Lee had his sweat glands removed from his armpits uh, back in the uh, early 70s because he didn't like the way it appeared in pictures, as you could see here. A lot of sweat marks coming down on the tank top and he didn't want that to take away from uh, any of his films where he would show that he was sweating so he had them removed. Let me know if you guys knew that little fun fact on Bruce Lee. Comment below. Let me know a couple other fun facts that I may not know on Bruce Lee that you guys know that you want to share with the fans and collectors out there. So let's move on to the next poster guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And here it is, issue number 17. Bruce Lee in the white top from Enter the Dragon. As you open this up, you have a beautiful poster inside. Let's see what the editors of Kung Fu Monthly gave us this time around. Here goes a nice headshot of Bruce Lee looking quite serious in full color. And there you have it. Let's move on to the next one and see what we have in store. Here it is, another beautiful cover issue of Bruce Lee battling Bob Wall in his classic movie, Enter the Dragon. And as you open it up, let's see what this poster is all about. I haven't opened these up in probably over 30 years, so I'm just as excited as you to see the posters that are inside these beautiful magazines, because I forgot what they look like. That's why I decided to do these episodes. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful shot of Bruce Lee and Bob Wall in the opening fight of Enter the Dragon when he stood in the arena with Bob Wall and they squared off and he poxows Bob Wall with lightning speed where you could barely see his hand movements and there he is as Bob Wall begins to go down on the first of three unbelievably fast movements on Bruce Lee.
All right, guys, let's see what the next one is all about. I love this poster. Let me know how you like this poster as well in the comments below. Let's chime in. And here we go, issue number 19. Beautiful picture of Bruce Lee sporting a beautiful brown suede jacket on the set of Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee was a very stylish guy, as you guys know. And let's see what the poster is inside of this beautiful Kung Fu Monthly Poster Magazine. So as you open it up, you have to be really careful opening these up because sometimes you could tear the issue. And here we go. We have a beautiful picture of Bruce Lee, again from the movie Fists of Fury, sporting the beautiful white t-shirt that housed the uh, three buttons. Let me know if you guys picked some of these up in the 70s. We got ours in Chinatown here in the New York City's Chinatown back in the day. Uh, let me know where you found yours and if you wore those back in the early 70s. And there we go. Let's see what the final issue looks like. Let me grab it. And here it is, issue number 20. This is part two of a three-part series going over and showing you all the poster magazines of the Kung Fu monthly issues that came out in the 70s, as well as the posters inside. And this came out once again in 1976. Issue number 21 actually came out in 1977 and starts the next 12 issues which will feature on part three. But let's see what this final one has in store for us as we open this up. And here we go. Again, a beautiful picture of Bruce Lee from the Chinese Connection. Great behind the scenes shot and as you can see, it features Bruce Lee here with the slicked back hair, which is looks like more of a publicity shot than anything else because as we know, his hair wasn't slicked back in the movie. And one of the reasons I heard that is that they wanted to go with the slicked back hair, but because his hair was so fine, it kept falling in front of his face. So they just went with the look that we see now in Fist of Fury. Let me know if you heard anything on Bruce Lee's hairstyle and why they went with uh, uh, his regular hairstyle and not the slick back look. Uh, please comment below and express your thoughts and share with the fans and collectors out there. So that's it for this series, part two of the Kung Fu Monthly Poster Magazines. Once again, if you guys didn't pick up the Bruce Lee Collector's t-shirt, you could do so by clicking the link below, ordering one, and sending me a picture of you wearing it because I love to feature you on the show. We're doing a whole episode featuring the collectors on the show holding their favorite Bruce Lee collectible. It will be a lot of fun. And once again, guys, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below and smash the like button now if you like this episode. And once again, Charles Demiano from the Bruce Lee Collection signing out, as always saying, have fun collecting. See you guys next Friday for part three. Stay tuned. Thank you.